Hi everyone, guess what we're talking about today? That's right, we're talking about the family calendar. We're talking about what you need to do to get your family on a great system regarding the time management and the calendar. And let me tell you friends, if we do not get this piece right, our family life is a gong show. So it is absolutely important for our productivity, our performance with lower stress to make sure that we are all getting ourselves a family calendar and kind of on the family system. So I'm gonna share with you how my husband and I do it. Uh, we own, uh, we have several uh, businesses together. We've got teenagers and this is uh, a question that actually I get asked a lot going, Karen, how do you do it? How, what is your system that you and your family have set up for yourself to make sure that your family system is is running properly and efficiently just like we want to have our businesses running well we want our families to be running well all right so if we haven't met my name is dr karen i've been doing this work for over 25 years we work with businesses of all sizes small business fortune 500 companies as well as their families and we've been doing this for many many years but my background my doctorate's in marriage and family so i've been actually working with families it, on the family side in a coaching practice for almost coming up on 30 years. So I really have seen um, how, you know, families that, that do this really well, what are the kind of the secrets, the, what's the secret sauce and the best practice? And I'll be sharing with you in this video, five things that my husband and I do, what do we do to kind of really make sure that we are running our family well? Okay, so number one, I've got my little list. Number one, is realize that every family needs to have some kind of a family system um, of a family calendar without it what's going to happen is life is going to be very chaotic it's going to be very chaotic we won't really you know people are going to be kind of going into all kinds of different directions communication can really fall apart so really prioritize figure out what is going to be our system as a family in terms of keeping track of all the different extra extracurriculars so the one that we actually we do and again i'm just kind of sharing with you with what we have found to be really helpful so i do this every single year so it is that is our family calendar it's it's in a central location which is actually really important and so what i do at the end of the year usually in december sometimes even early january i will go through all of the photos on our, our um in my phone all the photos, all the videos, I kind of basically take it from over a thousand or more, sometimes 1,500, 2,000 photos. I'll condense it into my top 100 photos. I put that in a slideshow. So every year we, we're celebrating with what that year has looked like. And then I take those top photos and I put it into that calendar. I love the calendar because it's our family calendar, it's in the kitchen. And, uh, and every month we can actually be looking at what some of our favorite memories were from the previous year at that time. And so our kids love it, I like it. And that way we're actually looking, you know, we all have these like photos on our phone, but then we like hardly ever look at it. So you put it actually into the family calendar and then that way we're actually having wonderful memories from last year, but we've also got a central place in terms of uh, for a family calendar. So that is kind of number one, really realize that every family really does need that calendar to kind of really kind of help you want to make sure that your home is running really smoothly number two figure out with what your um your system is going to be so step one is realizing yes this is important we're going to prioritize this number two is figure out with what your system is so uh we've got some clients that they basically their focus they use like a google calendar or uh some kind of like a technology and app we have found in our home is we actually are a little bit more old school so i prefer the pen and paper that's actually up on the wall uh my family actually likes that as well everybody kind of knows anything that is related to the uh, family and activities it all goes onto that calendar and so that is a really great central place that's what works for us that is not going to work for everybody and a lot of our clients will actually use more of an app that they can actually be downloading and just realize that for a lot of people they need to be able to see the entire month at a time so you kind of give a really good high big picture uh, a high level big picture view with what that actually month looks like so figure out what your technology is going to to be or your system talk to your friends what do they use uh, to kind of get some ideas number three figure out uh, who is going to be the family administrator who actually has access to that calendar is this like a free-for-all anybody can kind of put things on it or not um, and generally speaking you have one person 
in a family that is kind of like the key family administrator and other people can kind of be in a supportive role. In our family, I'm more the family administrator. So for the most part, I'm the one that manages the family calendar. I'm the one that kind of puts it on. Um, I'll get other people to put things on it as well, for sure. So it's not that I'm the only person, but I'm the main person. I'm the main lead on that particular role to making sure that that calendar is updated. Everything that's kind of happening is on that one central place. So that so you want to kind of think about who is the main person, the lead in it, but Every, every family member obviously plays a supportive role. Fourth one um, is in terms of your, your weekly, uh, your weekly checking about it. So as a family, what we do is we sit down, usually it's on Sunday nights, we kind of like look over with what's actually happening in the week. We make sure that everything is updated on that family calendar so everybody is actually, um, you know, in the know-how in terms of what's actually happening. And the last one is you wanna have daily, uh, daily communication. That happens more, a bit more random, whether or not that's in the car or that's over dinner, but you wanna make sure you're having daily uh, communication to make sure that is everything actually updated on that? And if not, we wanna make sure that we're actually updating it. But you wanna kind of have that kind of overall rhythm with it. So you've got a central location, uh, have your kind of technology kind of figured out. You've got the person in terms of the main administrator, and then you have your weekly and your daily check-ins that really make sure that everything is running smoothly. And did you know that time management is part of leadership emotional intelligence? A lot of people don't know that. Um, that's what we spe- that's what we specialize in as a company. We teach it to businesses. We teach it to families, and so. Grab your free scorecard. It's a leadership EQ scorecard. It actually looks at your time management as one of the five core uh, parts of leadership. It's free. You can do it for yourself. You can do it for your kids. And just uh, type below time. Type below time in the comments below. Somebody from our team will send it to you. And it's just a free resource to help you really understand how much time management is attached to your leadership emotional intelligence. So hope you've enjoyed, everybody. Make sure you sign up for our our YouTube channel and check out our other YouTube uh, videos. And if you've got a suggestion for us, be sure to actually share that in the comments below. That's how we figured out our content for you here. Thanks, everyone. And look forward to seeing you at one of our other YouTube videos.